which is the gorgeous reversible and recycling buzaki. Today, we're gonna make a recycling buzaki. Uh, welcome back to my class. Uh, look at this. I brought the fabrics. I designing the buzaki. I, I wash out and ironing and cut it out. I make uh, 75 centimeters by 75 centimeters buzaki now. Uh, I'm designing buzaki like this. Looks seven pieces. Firstly, uh, we decided the order. In this buzaki, firstly, this piece and this piece connect together first. And then pinch stitching next. I'll do pinch stitching this part and this part. Then we're connecting nine pieces. Firstly, I'll attaching one, two, three, like this to make a block. And one, two, three, block again. One, two, three, and. And then I'll attaching three pieces. Sewing together here and sewing together with some sole here. And then finishing all four sides. Firstly, I'll do this pinch stitching. Now, let's make a knot first, like this. And then two times or three times. But this thread is thick, so two times is okay. Yes. Look at this. And I'll start with pinch stitching. Firstly, in bojagi sewing, needle crease is easier to fold. Make a crease using this tool or hera is okay. If you don't have a Marker, you can use the seam ripper using seam ripper, make a crease very easy to fold straightly. Then sewing. Normally, pinch stitching, the double length is good, this much. Start with, we don't need hiding the knots because the pinch stitching, after pinch stitching, we cover the samsol. Don't need the hiding the knots. Do pinch stitching. Priority thing is the as far as good to sewing. Closer is good. I 
by using the big thread and needle because you could see easily. As close as good. I already sewn diagonal way and straight way already. Now I draw the leaves. This is uh, used plastic. I draw the semi oval shape, half of oval shape, making the template. I'll, I think this size I make a half of leaves here. I'll do the half of oval shape and draw the line with pencil. Using chalk pencil, draw the half of leaves and do other side sleeves again. Look at this leaves. Then make a crease is easy to fold. Make a crease. Marking the crease this side. Then we pinch stitching through the this line. The, through the pinch stitch, pinch stitch line. Slightly pull out the knots. Running stitch of same as a straight line. Already um, creased, creased the, this lip shape, so easy to fold. Do running stitch. You can use the template one leaf, one leaf, and second and third and fourth. One template using all your bojage. The pinch stitching is tight and closer is good, closer from the edge is good because after pinch stitching. The fabric size is smaller than original size. From the edge 
under one millimeter and the stitches one millimeter stitch between the stitches one millimeter it's a look good Finish the leaf. We have to hide the knot again. Okay, this is back side. Make touch it to make smooth curved line and make a knot. I'll show you. times or three times then wow. and we have to hide it the tail come through the pinch stitch inside the pinch stitch tunnel yeah we come out show you about samsol. Samsol is a very amazing seam method. Samsol is only Korean have a samsol method. I samsol is the best way to uh, one layer buzaki. I show you firstly two pieces of fabrics. I draw the line one centimeter and using marker just crease some people are using chalk pencil first and then crease again you can choose anyways Good. One centimeters. Then draw the line first. Fold the line. Fold the one centimeter from the edge. Two pieces. Place two seam together. Together. Using pin in this way, not parallel with the edge because if you have a slippery fabrics, pin it here sometimes slippery like this. So we put pin in 90, 90 degrees from the edge. Then whip stitching together. I'll show you whip stitching. I choose a thick thread because you can see easily but normally uh, in Korean all the times Korean has chosen the red color or 
yellow color because they like the yellow, red color. The red color is the prevent the protect the, the bad things. So they like red color. Okay, right this way, it's good to see. Okay. Don't need hiding the knots like this. Very close. One millimeters. This is the exercising piece. Don't worry about this thickness. You could choose the thin one, not too thin, because uh, in Bojagi, the thread is uh, very easy to see. So, not too thin, not too thick. Red, you could choose for Bojagi. Normally, this whip stitching, the length is the 1.5 times length. This is a whip stitching. Then make a knot like this. Two times. Face side here, back side here. Not to open the seam like this. We cover the bright cup fabric to purple fabric. Fabric. So we we cut. fabric smaller than five mil then over the purple seams with bright cloth then we increase the seven millimeters, but up to you. Crease the line, this one, and you can see the lining here. Fold two upper cords.
fold two the same way with two fabrics. Pin it together. This side. In some tool, don't need to hide in the knots. This interval is not important. The fine is good. Attached the your fabrics. We needed to edge. How can we finish with edge? I'm using the edge with running stitch. Zero point five centimeters from the edge and. One centimeters again. I'll show you. Easy to notice the point two five centimeters and one centimeters again. Two lines. This side is back side, this side is front side, pretending. Okay. Fold and fold again. Then just pin it. We'll do all around the edge like this. If you have a corner, if you do corner, same way. 0.5 and then 0.5. I'll do this, finish this line. Then running stitch. Hiding the notes inside of the seam. Approximately zero point two mil two centimeters, and then running stitch, two running stitch. Thank you. 
Bisa I remain the gap ya. Terus I explain for the corner. It's the same centimeters with this line 0.5 and 1 centimeters. Again, okay, I'll do chalk 2.5 centimeters and one centimeter. You can see the lines and fold inward and fold inward again. Okay. We'll keep going to the edge, straight line, keep going to the end of the between inside if you finish the thread just the hiding inside the knots hiding and then start again with this side this between the cloth Final works of recycling Buzagi. I am um, I designing this Buzagi freely. You can do any any composition is okay. Look at this. I put Samsol in here and here. Look at this. Samsol is the best way to one layer Buzagi. Back side is the same as front side. Whip stitching and whip stitching again. And I did uh, pinch stitching here and here. You can pattern in and pinch stitching. And lastly, I'll do running stitching all our edges. Fold and fold and running stitch. Back side, this side is back side. 
and front side. Yeah. But I think back side is good. Both are okay. You can use back and base. Thank you for joining my class. Next video, I'll tell you tie up or how to wrap up the bujagi. See you next video. Thank you.